90 million years ago, Antarctica was much different to the barren frozen wilderness that we see today. It was lush, probably teeming with life and researchers studying this idea have just discovered something so wonderful that is like discovering the remnants of a world frozen in time. Literally. Wait till you hear this. The drastic changes that this earth goes through are unstoppable. Change has happened before and it is destined to happen again. There is nothing human beings can do about it and we don't know when it is likely to occur in the future, but by means of the wizardly creation of the technically advanced things, we can look to the past. Impacts from above and cosmic cycles that disrupt the inner core of our planet mean that change is always going to happen. Now a team working on a 500 mile section of the frozen continent say they have discovered roots and pollen that have been preserved in the ice and that overwhelmingly shows that this part of the planet was much warmer back 90 million years ago to such a degree that it was a rainforest. This is scraping at the surface of this place and we are finding things. Is it implausible to suggest that there could be lost structures here from a bygone era? If things existed at other parts of the Earth that are not relating to any known civilization, then of course our curiosity will stretch to what wonders may be under the ice. The pyramid structure in Antarctica, if real, shows that connections can be made to every part of the world. And this should also mean that civilization who built these things were connected and they have since gone missing in their presence. Just some fuel for thought. The co-author of the research was quoted as saying that the preservation of this 90 million year old forest is exceptional, but even more surprising is the world it reveals. Even during months of darkness, swampy temperate rainforests were able to grow close to the South Pole, revealing an even warmer climate than we expected. The work also suggests that the carbon dioxide CO2 levels in the atmosphere were higher than expected during the mid Cretaceous period. 115 million years ago, challenging climate models of the period. This period was the heyday of the dinosaurs, but also the warmest period in the past 140 million years, with temperatures in the tropics as high as 35 degrees Celsius and sea levels 170 meters higher than today. The researchers suggest that the South Pole region would be more realistic to what New Zealand looks like today, but this only adds up if the polar night was also altered. A polar night lasts four months when the sun does not directly give life giving light to the region. The evidence for the Antarctic forest comes from a core of sediment drilled into the seabed near the Pine Island in West Antarctica. One section of the core caught the researchers attention with its strange color and this prompted them to CT scan the section of the core and discovered a dense network of fossil roots which were so well preserved that they could make out individual cell structures. The sample also contained countless traces of pollen and spores from plants, including the first remnants of flowering plants ever found at these high Antarctic latitudes. To reconstruct the environment of this preserved forest, the team assessed the climate conditions under which the plant's modern descendants live, as well as analyzing temperature and precipitation indicators within the sample. They found that the annual mean air temperature was around 12 degrees Celsius, roughly 2 degrees warmer than the mean temperature in Britain today. Average summer temperatures were around 90 degrees Celsius and water temperatures in the rivers and swamps reached up to 20 degrees and the amount of intensity of rainfall in West Antarctica were similar to those in today's Scottish Highlands or even Wales. To get these conditions, the researchers concluded that 90 million years ago, the Antarctic continent was covered with dense vegetation. There was no land ice masses on the scale of an ice sheet in the South Pole region, and the CO2 concentration in the atmosphere was far higher than previously assumed for the period. Maybe Antarctica is one big artificial refrigerator to cover up hidden civilization that existed within the structure of the Earth. But then again, maybe not. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.